Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I'm uh, thinking about Christmas shopping right now, you know, not too far away from the end of the year, and I'd like to uh, get some of these, I think, for my dog-owning friends. And the reason is, there are a lot of snare traps around Montana, and you don't have a lot of time once your dog's caught in one. Uh, many of them are legal, many are I illegal, um, but there's a recommendation to carry a pair of cutters, and sometimes they're like this, but... Uh, two things happen. One is you don't have a whole lot of leverage here, and second, it might not be the right cutter if you've got um, kind of this steel wire here. This is 530 seconds. This is the stuff that is recommended um, for some of the some of the snares. Let's see if I can get that to read there. Yeah, you saw 530 seconds. Um, but anyway, this this can be pretty stout stuff. Um, and it has to be in order to hold the animal, unfortunately. And there's lots of um, uh, places in Montana where you can find these these traps, and so can your dog. So it's best to carry a pair of pliers, or a pair of cutters, excuse me. So these are actually pretty good, these HKPs. This is the 0690. These are about $40. These, on the other hand, were six and change. Um, they are a Chinese company, of course, made in China. What brand? I don't know. If they don't even bother to put the brand on the packaging, then why am I bothering to tell you? But anyway, they're very similar. They don't cut quite as well. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, but you only need them for one cut, usually. And that's that's in an emergency. Now, myself, I'm probably going to have these Knipex. Um, but... That's because I like tools. These are great. I'll use them for other things. But I'm going to show you what I'd recommend and what I'll probably be giving as gifts. So, first of all, um, this does cut. I'm going to show you that here. Safety glasses. Did that video. Um, and I've got some samples here of the uh, steel. I think stainless steel 530 seconds. So I'm going to place it in, in the cutter here and put it in this plastic bag, and that's both for protection, but also because this stuff gets messy. And I'm going to grab it down near the bottom of the handle here and squeeze. And I was able to cut it through. It made a pretty decent cut. You can see this is what happens, though, you know, if you've got a short piece, so it makes kind of a mess. Um, I'm going to compare that to these. So this is a little bit better. Plier, uh, cutter center that thing up. Um, I also like the, the how close these are, how flush, because you know, this is wrapped around part of your dog, probably its its head. So if you try to do it with something longer, you've got to get, you know, push it further into the animal in order to get to the uh, cutting. Of course, it's a life and death situation, but... So here is this little bit better $40 one. So I could feel it, took a little bit less effort. Um, but this guy here, it actually works uh, plenty good for the few cuts or perhaps the no cuts, hopefully, the no cuts it will ever make in its life. So now what? Well, the first thing is I am going to pull this off. Um, and the reason is this thing is it gets in the way. And a few times when I've been using these, I've actually had it right there, and I'm pushing against it, and I don't realize that that's what's happening. So for this emergency, I'm going to get rid of it. What am I going to replace it with? <clears throat> An inner tube. Here is a piece of inner tube. I'm going to slide that over this and measure it out. Um, but before I do that, I'm actually going to put something on this. I might grease it up. Um, maybe I'll use some fill wood waterproof grease for bearings, etc. Maybe put a little bit. Of, this really doesn't matter. I mean, I remember this is kind of an emergency, um, emergency thing here. So maybe grease this up. Do a little better job for each, and warn the the prospective owners what's <clears throat> what's going on here. So I can smear that around, kind of cover this up, make sure the blades... Because, you know, it might be years before it's ever deployed. Get that all nice and greasy. There we go. Then I'm going to slide it into an inner tube. I use these inner tubes for all kinds of things. 
it also holds it tighter. That'll work. Come up to the top. There's the end. Grab my shears. Here's the end of it. And I'm going to, I can cut it right there. Nice and smooth. There's the inside. I'll probably throw a piece of tape over it. But there, Merry Christmas. And with that, Doc out.